Hello and welcome back. This is Pastor Matt with our devotional reading for the day, Spiritual Moments with the Great Hymns. Today's song that we are talking about is, We Plow the Fields and Scatter. Matthias Claudius, 1740 to 1815. And a translation by Jane Campbell, 1817 to 1878. It's a few years after the American Revolution, but not on the western side of the Atlantic. In Germany, north of Frankfurt, Matthias Claudius, Provincial Commissioner of Agriculture and Manufacturers, is also a man of letters who writes a long play titled Paul Erdman's Feast. It's a harvest tale culminating in neighborhood jubilation as the last wagon load of produce is drawn in from the fields. Paul Erdman's celebration starts not with firecrackers, but with the singing of a peasant song. Seventeen four-line verses, each sung as a solo, each ending with all joining in on the chorus. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above, then thank the Lord, oh, thank the Lord, for all his love. Six worthy verses of the peasant song, loosely translated and paired to make three song stanzas, have landed in our hymnals. But with each passing year, I fear the song inches its way toward oblivion. The closest most of us get to fresh fields is the supermarket produce department. And what do we know about scattering seeds? In his refreshing The Book of Hymns, Ian Bradley quotes an anonymous revised version. We plow the fields with tractors, with drills we sow the land, but growth is still wondrous gift of God's almighty hand. This song might be totally lost to a new generation if it had not been boldly repackaged for Broadway the contemporary Godspell stage tune is difficult but strangely rewarding. Like farm work, if one can believe my father, who, for some reason unbeknownst to me, can recall the nostalgia, the labor of steering a horse-drawn plow. We plow the fields, is now relegated to a narrow autumn slot, our Thanksgiving holiday that harks back to the song's harvest origins. That's a perfect weekend to start expressing our thanks for all the bright and good harvests that may be hard wrought, but ultimately come to fruition only if God graced with growth. And yet, Thanksgiving is no window of opportunity that slams shut with the advent of December. All 52 weeks a year, we can take a lesson from a God-spelled disciple named Lamar in the original production. In the stage musical, the song's age-old hymnal words remain intact, 
but as a belabored chorus fades out, all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. One blessed man, Lamar, steps out of the crowd and bursts forth with a flamboyant, I really want to thank you, Lord. As if he can't help himself, as if he had opened his arms and received a gift so expansive and wonderful, he could think of only one appropriate response, that which God most desires, a humble, thankful heart. And we echo his refrain, I really want to thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Dear Lord, in every arena of life, it's easy for us to plow and then harvest, and then take all the credit for the crop, as if we had also provided the sun and the rain and worked the photosynthesis. Forgive us for neglecting to thank you privately and publicly for your good gifts, for your wonder-working power in nature and in the human heart. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for our devotional reading. I will see you next time.